Today, we're going to be calibrating a camera using Chameleon Vision 2.1. So I'm going to launch it through IntelliJ, but if you're using the Pi image, it, this should launch by default. And we're going to reload the web interface, and we're going to go down to the settings menu, and then the cameras tab. We're going to select our camera, which is the only one, but you can actually do this for whichever camera you happen to have. We're going to select a resolution to calibrate in. In this case, I'm just going to choose 640 by 480, but you can choose whatever you want. Um, and then also download this checkerboard from the UI. My squares are 1.06 inches, but you're going to enter whatever you measure with a digital caliper or some other sort of measuring device. Uh, how precise those square sizes are measured is going to affect how accurate your calibration is. So it's at least like a little bit important if those are about right. Then we're going to click Start Calibration. So that's going to make everything look kind of gray, and it's going to make everything really laggy, even on my 2014 Mac Pro, which has still got like a pretty good processor on it. It's going to be pretty slow. And that's not really anything you can do anything about, except once it picks up a checkerboard, it's actually pretty fast. So we're going to start like one corner of the image. Um, I don't really have a special way to do this besides like take some clothes, take some far, make sure to get lots of different angles. The lighting in this room is pretty terrible, I'm going to be honest. So it might take us a couple tries to get the checkerboard to show up. You can see there that it did. Um, we're gonna just a little better. And what's important to note is that is, is making sure that the dots that show up are actually on the squares, especially if the lighting in the room that you're trying to calibrate in is terrible. You can sometimes tell that the the, the dots aren't actually on the the intersections of the squares. And so we're gonna click calibrate or take a snapshot a couple more times. We're going to do some further away. Um, these may or may not be picked up by the OpenCV, but maybe they will just give it a sec. Um, there. And you can see kind of there how some of the squares are almost jiggling along uh, around there. So we're going to go a little bit closer so that it doesn't happen quite so much. Um, yeah, and we're just going to try to get up to about 15, 15 snapshots. And I'm going to go one more. And then we're going to do one more close, I guess. Um, like super close, because why not? And, sure, we'll do one more at this kind of weird angle. I don't think we've done that yet. And then we're going to click Finish Calibration. Great. If you're watching on the screen, you'll see that it, it changed back to color. If you switch back to IntelliJ, you're going to see that in standard out, it just printed out that we got a calibration success. and Finally, if we go back to the Vision tab and then the 3D menu, you can see that Enable 3D is no longer grayed out, and while I don't exactly have a Vision target, if I did, it would be being picked up. Alright, that's all.